All right, so welcome to the show, the segment of the bulletin. And the queen of the thing, Yeah. Becky Becks, yeah. looking so dashy is here. Hi, Thank Becky. You. Hello to you, Grace. Mm. How you doing? I'm well. Seeing you is enough for me to be happy. Oh, thank you. Today mm. is World Poetry Day. Ah. And so I'm going to begin with a poem. Uh, actually, one of my favorite poems. Uh, mm. Is written by Marianne uh, Williamson. Okay. Uh, this particular poem, uh, back in 2003, mm. uh, my administrator at the time, Joseph Jamisi, he mm. insisted that we learn this uh, particular poem. But okay. I only got to understand really what the poem is about. Okay. Uh, just you know, uh, mm. two months ago. Oh. Does that make sense? <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. So it's uh, uh, my deepest fear mm. or our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness that most frighten us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, fabulous, gorgeous, talented? Actually, who are you not to be? Your playing small does not serve the world. So that's not that's not the end mm, of it. I mean, mm. obviously, just go and read about okay. it. Okay. Um, I, I I I have a lot of favorites, but I'm not I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do one for you. Okay. Yeah. Can we do that after you know we we pick? No uh, no problem. So I, 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 I mean, for you, I have all the patients. Of course, I mm -hmm. had a conversation with you know some of our colleagues mm. here at the multimedia group, and they've been sharing with us exactly uh, what, what poem they. Written member mm. uh, from back in the days. In the poetry is more like um, music without melody. You know, because um, it, it, it captures everything about life. We, we express ourselves through that. We, we actually propose through poetry. We can address the world's issues through poetry. You know, so um, it's very beautiful and I'm happy to be here on this day. Uh, you, you want me to mention my favorite? Of course. Okay, so I see the moon and the moon sees me. God bless the moon and God bless me. Uh, if we want to entertain a toddler or something, and I'm sure most of you know, you know, the animated, um, dramatic performances that parents put on for their kids. A lion, a lion, a lion has a tail. It has a big head. And, a, and, and, and that's the part I enjoy the most. The one, the one that I can, I can really remember is Peter Papa. Peter, Peter Papa picked a pair of pickle pepe. A pair of pickle pepe Peter Papa picked. If Peter Papa picked a pair of pickle pepe, where is the pair of pickle pepe Peter Papa picked? Ambassadors of poverty with their heads abroad, they are anus at home, they are the corrupt masters of the economy, something of that sort. So it, it just speaks to social issues and how politicians, you know, um, do things that goes to the detriment of the, of the nations when they are supposed to be um, doing stuff that would help the countries they are, they are serving. So yeah, that's it's one of my favorite poems. One of the poems that readily comes to mind was a poem written by W.B. Yeats, The Second Coming. Do you remember that one? Second yeah, the second coming. And I think the, uh, uh, the, everybody remembers things fall apart. Right. Yeah, turning and turning and the widening gar. Yeah, the falcon cannot hear the falconer. Oh. Things fall apart. Yes. The center cannot hold. Mere anarchy is loose upon the world. And yeah. Um, I think mine will be William and his ten Lee's poem, um, Invictus. Yeah, it's quite long, but I think the very first chapter or the very first verse, which is, I think is um, out of the nine that covers me, um, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. Fox, 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 go into the box. No, no, no. Why, why, why? Because I'm too big. 